that definitely will cause some head scratchers then in the future to kind of rethink, um, especially kind of the, the end of the war there. Well, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and one thing that I don't do in the book, obviously, but I hope somebody else knows, is there seems to be another El Nino at the end of 1865. Yeah. Well, I guess there could be easily like um, Air Muldeen kind of looks at like the war, but then also post four years. So kind of thinking about beyond the, just the five, the four years of the war mm -hmm. and kind of how does, how does weather phenomena impact reconstruction, especially when we think in terms of um, the cotton crops being put into the ground again and kind of trying to mm -hmm. revitalize the cash crop system in the Southern States. Yeah. I'm also thinking about Mike Fitzgerald's uh, reconstruction in Alabama. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's kind of controversial. I'm not sure everyone in Reconstruction Studies agrees with Mike, but I mean, he argues that Recon there's a point where Reconstruction is working in mm -hmm. Alabama, where most white Alabamians are willing to accept what's happening and move on, and the Democratic Party is failing to attract a lot of support. And then what happens? Drought. Mm -hmm. And that creates all sorts of hardship, which gets pointed to politicians, and then you right. get the rise of another wave of violence. I mean, I, I think it would be interesting to study Reconstruction yeah. in this way as well. Somebody will have to do it. I hope so. <laughs>